today I have again something completely new to the channel and basically I love unboxing things and like being surprised by things but I got really bored of Loot Crate and most of the stuff there was like really just a bunch of crap that I was paying for so I didn't want to do that anymore so I went on the search to find other things that I can unbox like monthly subscription services and I found one this isn't anything like gaming related or geeky related it's actually food related which is a win-win who doesn't love food so I have this little box here and it's called Nandamo box. It's a box full of Japanese snacks. The ceremonial knife. So here is what it looks like inside and this is the leaflet and it looks really cute. This is such a killer card. It's like personalized with my name on it. Okay. So it says, Dear Livy, we bring you our May snack box. The main item of this month's box is the fruit mixed popcorn. The total amount of items for this month's box is 10 items. Please make sure to check the description we have added with the box. We hope you enjoy all the snacks for May. Sincerely, Nandemo Box Star. If you know how to pronounce this, then please do let me know in the comments. And here is a list of everything that's in the box. So I'm going to start pulling things out. And the first thing is um, these little things. And what is this? Lotte's Chocorantan Pear Flavor with almonds slightly roasted pear chips to add to the sweetness and nested neatly in a chocolate cup. Choco... Choco Rantan is without a doubt a very fancy treat. They are also individually wrapped which allows for longer storage life. So pear flavoured candy. Pear and almond. Alright, how do you open this? Oh my god, it's like a really... If you pull this out. Look at this shit, look how cool that is. It smells good. That's really good. It's really sweet. I've never had like anything pear flavored before other than pears. This tastes really good. I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Next we have these little things. Limited edition koala no march. The popular koala no march introduces a new different flavor in the spring summer. Experience cute koala shaped cookies with cheesecake flavored fillings. Oh wow. Yeah, I always see these everywhere, like koala shaped cookies, but I've never seen like cheesecake ones before. They're so tiny, I didn't think they were so small. Oh my god, these are so good. Oh my goodness. Mmm, holy cow. Next we have this. No idea what this is, but we shall find out. Say Butsu Zukan. Hate that dry squid or those fishy snacks that Japan is so popular for? Well, fret not, we are bringing you sea life gummies instead. And they seem quite monstrous as well, but don't let that scare you. They taste good, we swear. I feel like there's just one in here though, so I kind of don't want to open it. This is so cute. I am so glad I signed up for this. We have these things, and these are Peko Chan's chocolate pencils. Peko Chan is known for her cuteness and how cute chocolate pencils... And how chocolate pencils... This isn't very well written. Great for sharing with friends and it comes with an adorable sticker sheet. So these are just chocolate pencils so I guess I'm not going to open these either because I don't want to like waste everything. I'll just try like the different things that I hadn't like seen or tasted before. Next we have, I believe this, well, this looks and feels like a lollipop like with the dip. This is Sherbet Pero grape flavour. Although we are still unsure as to why it's called sherbet, pero, it definitely has unbeatable fruity flavour. A great fun fizzy lollipop that is sure to be a hit with children. Ooh, these look cute. A little candy box. And it comes with a toothpick. Candy box. This candy box contains four fruit flavoured hard gummy candies. It's a popular treat among children in Japan. Green one. Let's try it. Well, pink one. They don't really have much flavour, but I guess they're alright to eat. They do not really have a flavour. Next, we have this, which kind of reminds me of like old school bubble gum like packets. It is Pucho Van Peyu flavour. If you tried Pucho or Puko, I don't know how you pronounce it. You most likely haven't tried this one yet. 
Puko is a soft chewing candy with small gummies within. This flavour is Ban Paiyu, which translates to pomelo in English, a type of citrus fruit which tastes mildly like grapefruit. Chewy candy with gummies in it. Is that what it said? That just tastes of like an orange malam, really. Next we have these little things, which look like this. And this is Poochie. Pook I'm not even going to try to say that. But what, <laughs> the name of this translates to fried rice. In this case, they are fried rice crackers. They come in mini size and are great to bring to work or school to share. I think I've actually had something like this before. So, I'm not gonna open these. Next, we have sweet candied popcorn. Oh my god, this bag feels so cute. Like, it's like all soft and stuff. I love it. I believe this is the like main product of this box. To celebrate May with bright colors, we picked out a fruit mixed popcorn made in Nara Prefecture. The bag consists of grape, strawberry, orange, and lemon flavor popcorns. This will be a great snack for work actually, or when I'm driving, because I'm always eating when I'm driving. Don't judge. And lastly, we have this little thing, which is actually a de like a little DIY kit. Um, I'm pretty sure the website said that each uh, box would include one of these DIY kits. And I've been seeing these kind of things like on Twitter and Instagram, and um, it looks like this. Choco de Puzzle. Receive either a bunny or bear choco, cho, cho, choco making DIY kit. Please refer to YouTube for tutorials. Thanks! So I have to watch a video on how to make it. I freaking love this. This is so cute. I'm pretty sure this box costs like £20 or something because obviously it has to be shipped from Japan and all the products inside. But I think £20 is kind of a fair price considering you're getting loads of goodies from Japan and they're really cute and stuff. So I would highly recommend this. I kind of had to wait a while for it because of the time that I subscribed to it. It was like right after they sent out um, April's crates so I had to wait like a whole month for this. Um, but it's definitely cute. I, I'm a big fan of food. If you guys want to subscribe to this service, the link will be down in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more of these, please leave a like and a comment, comment something nice. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! <gasps> what Luke just did.